With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, in this question given the rate constant of a reaction is 1.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 second inverse at a 30 degree Celsius and 2.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 second inverse at a 40 degree Celsius. Calculate the energy of activation of the reaction. So, in this question we have to given the rate constant at a temperature 30 degree Celsius that is a 1.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 second inverse and at a temperature 40 degree Celsius 2.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 second inverse. We have to calculate the energy of a activation for the reaction. So, in this question we have to given the rate constant K1 and K2. So, we have to given rate constant K1. So, uh, consider the rate constant K1 at a temperature 30 degree Celsius that is equals to 1.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 in second inverse and the given rate constant K2 at a temperature 40 degree Celsius. Rate constant K2 at a temperature 40 degree Celsius. Rate constant K2 at a temperature 40 degree Celsius that is equals to 2.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 second inverse and we have to given the temperature T1 and T2. The temperature T1 is a given. We have to given temperature T1. The temperature T1 is a given that is a 30 degree Celsius. So now we can convert degree Celsius into Kelvin. We convert 273 plus 30 degree Celsius into Kelvin that is equals to 303 in Kelvin. So now we can write temperature 30 degree Celsius in terms of Kelvin that is equals to 303 in Kelvin. And the, we have to given the temperature T2. The temperature T2 is a given 40 degree Celsius. Temperature T2 is a given 40 degree Celsius. Temperature T2. Temperature T2 is given 40 degree Celsius. Temperature T2 that is equals to 40 degree Celsius. So now convert degree Celsius into Kelvin that is equals to we have to add 273 in a degree Celsius 40 that is equals to 313 in Kelvin. So the our temperature 40 degree Celsius in terms of a Kelvin that is equals to 313 in Kelvin. We have to calculate the activation energy. So we know that the relation between rate constant and the temperature. So according to the Arrhenius equation we know that the relation between rate constant and the temperature that is equals to log K2 by K1 log K2 by K1 log K2 by K1 that is equals to Ea log K2 by K1 that is equals to Ea upon 2.303 2.303 R 1 upon T1 1 upon T1 1 upon T1 minus 1 upon T2 where Ea is the activation energy and R is the universal gas constant. So, we can write Ea. Ea is the our activation energy. Ea is the our activation energy. Activation energy. And R is the our universal gas constant. R is the our universal gas constant. R is the our gas constant. And its value. Its value is the 8.314 8.314 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse so now we know that the rate constant k2 value k1 value temperature t1 t2 now put in this equation we get that is log k2 by k1 so our k2 is the 2.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 second inverse so now this is the our log k2 our K2 is the 2.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 second inverse whole divided by log K1. The value of, uh, sorry, K1. K1 is the 1.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 second inverse. Log K2 by K1 that is equals to Ea activation energy whole divided by 2.303, 2.303 into R, 8.314. 8.314 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse joule kelvin inverse mole inverse into 1 upon t1 so our temperature t1 is a 303 kelvin 1 upon t1 303 kelvin minus 1 upon t2 temperature t2 is a 313 kelvin so now the rearrange the term so now here second inverse to second inverse get cancelled 
we calculate that this value of a log. So we get this value of a log is a 0 0.243. 0 0.243 that is equals to Ea activation energy divided by 2.303. 2.303 into 8.314 8.314 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse kelvin inverse mole inverse and the calculation from this part we get this is the 10 this is the hour 10 kelvin whole divided by 303 kelvin 303 in kelvin into 313 in kelvin 313 in Kelvin. So now this Kelvin to this Kelvin get cancelled and this Kelvin inverse to this Kelvin get cancelled. So now the rearranged term we get the activation energy Ea. So we get activation energy Ea that is equals to 0 0.243 into 2.303 2.303 multiply by 8.314 into 303 303 into 313 and the uh, energy is a uh, sorry unit is left that is a joule mole inverse joule mole inverse whole divided by this is this term is divided by the 10 whole divided by 10 so now the calculate from this part we get the activation energy ea calculation from this part we get the activation energy ea that is equals to 44126.26 joule per mole 26 joule per mole so this is the our activation energy in terms of a joule per mole but when we have to convert joule into kilojoule then we have to divide it by 1000 so we can also calculate activation energy in terms of kilojoule per mole so we have to divide it by 1000 when we convert joule into kilojoule that is equals to 44.12 kilojoule per mole so this is the our activation energy in terms of a kilojoule per mole. So, I hope this answered your question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.